do that with footballers like he said about Leeds, and when you do things like that about a man like Stuart Pearce, I'm, I, I've kept really quiet, but I'll tell you something. He went down in my estimation when he said that. One of two of a Touchline Man podcast coming today from a super secret location. We are going to have a little chat about internationals. So where are we? Okay, we are podcasting live, live uh, from IKEA Cardiff. Thank you very much. Thanks for hosting us. For hosting the podcast this week. The question you have to ask yourself is, did he get touched? Now, if he's got touched... Hi, I'm Mitchell Gunn, whether I'm in the UK, Australia... Canada, Costa Rica, Timbuktu, I listen to Winners, I listen to a touchline run, that's ATR. My, my point is, has he been touched? If he's been touched, he's a foul. We're going to we're gonna also have a look Some cheeky at transfers. Trans-European Express. Oh, okay. We're going to have a European roundup. We're also going to talk about the continued uh, issues of racism. racism. Then we're going to have a look at the Premier League. So it's a, the dust has settled on that first game week of fixtures in the Premier League. The international window is here. So we're going to have a look back and see what's happened. All in IKEA Cardiff. Oh, Should I play the music there? <laughs> We're still fighting for this title, and he's got to go to Middlesbrough and get something. And and I'll tell you honestly. Twenty-four hours to the transfer deadline. Oh, you can tell him. So, internationals. Why do I look forward to international football when it's the Euros and the World Cup? But do I dread it when it's just the qualifiers? The build-up. Yeah, it's the just excitement. I Social media marketing. That I get. I really enjoy the Euros and the World Cup. I look forward to them every year. I think it's just because of the lack of football during the summer. It's football ends, but oh, you got the World Cup. It's. I'm too. I want the league football to. I, do, I hate the early international window. It's my least favourite time of year. Um, football wise, my least favourite time of year is mm. midwinter. Sum up Ryan Giggs's so far career as Wales manager. What do you reckon? I think it's an Can you do it in a noise? Ooh. Oh, that's more positive than a film. Yeah. There's no you just go. It's an investment for the future. Yeah, it's an investment. I think the That's problem what is, Wales what more can you do? You've got a whole, you've got a whole heap of those young, uh, vibrant players yeah. who are all in that like, early twenties. How exciting is that? Think. But make of the English team as a whole because they've had, a, they had a very good World Cup. That's another kind of noise. Go on then. That was a good noise. <laughs> um, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Hang on. Okay. The announce was over. Jordan James. England. They've got an extremely good, young, talented squad, and Southgate is actually getting a really good tune out of them. So maybe I'll get into it more. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. I'll... Do you know maybe what I'll... the thing is that we will get used into international football more once the European Championships roll up next summer, uh, and once they're on, we'll be sucked into international football. That happens every year. Tribalism. We are going like to Europe. Europe. I love Europe. I we, love Europe. We are. Um, once again boarding the ATR Trans-European Express and we're going to talk, have a look at Europe, see how it's going over there. We're going to st start in Spain. Spain. Firstly, uh, do you want news or transfer related stuff? Do you want opinion or do you want transfer? Transfer, please. Transfer related stuff. Okay. Yeah. Alphonse Ariola has left PSG and gone to Real Madrid so on loan. And Kayla Navas has yeah. moved in the opposite direction. Oh. Now, we're big fans of Kayla Navas, so I would suggest. Underrated. And I think Ariola has got a lot of potential to be an extremely good goalkeeper, but I don't think he's quite there yet. Have you listened to the latest Taylor Swift album? Yet? I have listened to the you have. Taylor Swift. Are you a fan? I am a fan of Taylor Swift. Oh, Nacho Monreal. Gone. I, well, I told you not to bring that up. I know, I do apologise. But Nacho Monreal has gone I to Real Sociedad for 250k. Yeah. Can I throw something out there? Without me going into the Premier, in the Premier League yes. chat. So, do you suggest that this signing is a good one for a, a 
sausage dad or is it a really bad one for us? Oh, which one? Oh, to, yeah. Not At his age, is it more of a I good look, sign in I would have for liked him sausage to, dad or a I bad would have liked him to have been there just to see see the year out, or maybe potentially go in January for backup because he's absolutely solid. And then I would have bid him farewell. Okay, but. He's I straight too much in the Premier I League. Think he's, yeah, I think he's phenomenal. We're not talking Premier League yet. I, th- I think he's wonderful. He's good, yeah. But let's also say that Arsenal getting all those players off their books have created That's, a lot. way Premier League. That's in the lot. next section. How many fans over here who just support a Premier League side and just watch the Premier League, how many of them regularly watch La Liga football? I would answer, not many. Gareth Bale is not the player he was when he played for Spurs and people need to realise this. He's But, right, I've gone and done a bail hole. Okay. I don't know why you're so oh. harsh. I'm not. Right, can I move? Can I? Spain is soured for me now. I'm on a jaunt across. Where are we going? We're going to France. 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 My first point here is Monaco, Monaco uh, are still shit. That's what I've written. <laughs> Turns out, though, Thierry yeah, Henry yeah, is not the only one to blame. Who, you wouldn't have blamed Thierry for that. A lot of people gave him a lot of... Well, look, his where Monaco were when he came in as coach was awful. They were in a dreadful position. He nearly got Monaco relegated. So that's how bad they were but now he's left and they're still just as bad so it turns out ah, actually it might not be been all on reason uh, Akadi has joined PSG where Neymar remains because the no deal went through with Barca Neymar remains a PSG player it's an interesting move I like Maro Akadi but there are definite issues with well there were issues with his attitude at Inter there were issues because and that's not me you know I don't want to slag anyone off or any like player off I know but Akadi there were definite issues with his temperament and his attitudes having him and Neymar in the same dressing room may not necessarily be the best idea for PSG but Cavani's entering the last year of his contract and he's out injured again they haven't got Neymar available and Mbappe's injured too mm. Akadi they've got Real Madrid soon in the Champions League Basically, they don't want to be playing two promoting up front, which is what they've been doing. You say that. But so Akadi comes in. Well, no, they've got no Neymar, no Mbappe, and no Cavani. Tuchel's just used to this happening. Now. Yeah, I think he's resigned. Can we move yeah, very think, quickly yeah. to Italy? Mickey's gone to Roma. Laurenti's gone to Napoli. Chris Smalling. Chris, yeah, Chris Smalling's gone to Roma. Lukaku, uh, which oh well, no, Lukaku will lead to the last point. I want to make one thing, two or three bits in Italy, all Juventus related. One, Chiellini doing his ACL. Chiellini at 35 has done his ACL. How he comes back from this? Will he come back the same like Ibrahimovic did from his at an advanced age? Or will he come back and we won't see the best? That's it, we've finished. Because this is the season Chiellini was brought in to tutor De Ligt. And he's now out injured. It's massive. Well, De Ligt has now started. So the Napoli Juventus game, um, he had to start it. And lots of people criticise him. It was one of his most resolute performance. However, He's 19 years old, he's in a new country, playing next to a defender that he doesn't speak the language of at the moment, and he was asked to play on the wrong side of the centre-back partnership, because Bonucci started, because he was out. So De Ligt had to start on the wrong side of the pitch, a different side of the pitch than he used to, and he doesn't understand what his defensive partner is saying to him. I would suggest to all those people who have criticised De Ligt's first performance, anyone who's struggling in that situation, he's 19 years old. That's my uh, my full oh, in, that's, that's my full that international was, round up. That, we was can, a, that was a rant. More people turned up to the airport to welcome him for signing for Galatasaray than can fit in Monaco Stadium. Should we leave that there? Unfortunately, we are here again. What do you mean? I, I don't like m- this. It's one of my favourite places. What I don't mean to? IKEA. I'm not talking about IKEA. Oh. I don't mean, unfortunately, we're in IKEA again. What I mean is, unfortunately, we're going to be talking racism in football again. Lukaku. Great. More tensions in an age which is heightened tensions anyway. We've got Jordan Sancho, which has come out. Uh, we're saying how tough it is to play with. What can you actually do? You can only do so much. Yeah, there will always be idiots. That's not a shelf. If you hear someone make those statements or throw a statement out there or something, mm. instead of just smiling and nodding, yeah. basically say, like it takes courage to actually stop that. And if you do one thing or if you overhear any sort of racism yeah, in football, outside of football, wherever it is, mm. call people on it. 
absolutely cool for Blana. Because otherwise, yeah. you just smile along with it. Just we were, just stop being racist. All right? well, they're not. They're not racist. If you are ones. racist, they're though, not. They might. You be. don't know. I don't know. But if you are, don't listen. Is that fair? Let's end it on that. Let's end it on that. Next, we're going to talk, look at the Premier League. Oh, okay. And we're going to just have a look and see who's doing what. I think it's a bit worrying at the minute. Nothing. No, you can't tell anything by like four, five, six no, games you know, in. Six when games I, in, you get a better idea. Okay, do you know what I think you can oh, tell already right. at the minute, though? Is that it looks as though City and Liverpool are still miles ahead of everybody. Uh, uh, they have been... Man City you know, have. Man C no, Man City and Liverpool have, have got more points than Man City. It's Liverpool have been frighteningly good, but they need to keep that. That's uh, they need to keep injuries out of that team because when you've got players like Mane, Salah, when they're out, they still haven't got the biggest of squads. If you look at it, oh, you see that. Look, they're, they're all arguing. To Man City. They're all arguing with the, within the, themselves. That's fine to score goals. They have got less of a squad than Man City. Man City is bigger. But you say that, bench, but. Man. Look, you say that, but the strikers, like Ga Gabriel Jesus, he's a bit, a bit off and off injured, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah and Conaguero steps in. Well, look, put, no, well, Jesus starts. Because Aguero's showing his true self. No, Aguero is on fire as always. Aguero, as we've said before, is we the greatest. He's the greatest Premier League striker ever, Sergio Aguero. Yeah. And in the Premier League, yeah. Yeah, pre greatest Premier League striker. He's and the he best will, striker this season. He Premier League's it, ever seen. He will, he will go to that next level where people should appreciate. The, like, he's world class. What he's done over um, since he's got here. He's unreal. He's so good. Right, but and Raheem Sterling is having. As I said before, I think this season we will have a, a see a messy like season from Raheem Sterling. Um, and so far he's done really, really well. You know, he's done very well. Okay, but the Wolves. Stress you out a little bit yes. in the league. Yes, Wolves do. You concerned? Well, Wolves haven't won a game. Yeah, no, they haven't. But they look really good. <laughs> yes, I love their kit as well. The new kit, new third team. Yeah, they've taken the Mexico game for Wolves logo. Wolves on. Wolves on. Um, it's going to be really tough for them to get out of that cycle, I think, because European football is going to drain them. Look, Wolves could get to, could easily finish in the top six. They could season. put it in in the league. They could easily finish in the top six, above. On based on just, I know it's very few amount of games, but based on current performances, it is genuinely, I think, possible that Wolves finish above Chelsea, Man United, and maybe Arsenal. This season? Yeah. Would this start? Yeah, definitely. I still th I think it's very, very possible for Wolves to finish about above Man United and Chelsea. I love the fact that they're going for Europe. Look, I love Chelsea, the fact that they're put, putting it in every single game. Yeah, look, they've it's been just, good. So you get that balance of consistency to the league and the cup. Is so it takes so long. Is but I think Lampard's gonna do all he can for that. For is that. Lampard on a free hit season? Yeah, absolutely. But it's Chelsea. That's what I keep thinking. I keep going, oh Frank Lampard, yeah, he's on a free hit, it doesn't matter. He came in and they can't buy anyone. Think... Right. I think it's safe to say now. I I'll, I'll make a prediction. Do you want me to make a prediction? Mm. Fed up for you being wrong. Come the end of the season, one of Solskjaer or Lampard will have left. I will love it if we beat them. Love it. And save your engine from grime, dirt, and pollution. Unipart filters are the only filters recommended by British Leyland. End of another week. We are a touchline brand. Thank you very much for listening. Thanks to for us. joining us in Thanks IKEA. Thanks for joining. Thank in you to IKEA for letting. Shout out to IKEA Cardiff for, for letting us film here film tonight. Here today. Uh, they, did you send that letter in asking them? Definitely. Yeah. IKEA Cardiff. Thank you very much. Shout out to them. Follow us on social media at Touchline Brand everywhere and CSK Savoy Garden. Shout out to them. Two one victory. Get following them. Uh, we sponsor them, so grab. You can. You, you'll be able to grab a shirt soon. Maybe, maybe, maybe we're maybe. in discussions to potentially um, be looking at the shirt. But CSK Sphere Gardens, we do sponsor them. We are proud sponsors uh, on the front of the shirts. So uh, feel free to check them out. D they do a lot for men cap. I think. Thanks for listening. We'll see you next week.
Ich